Hello, how's everybody doing? And thank you so much for joining in. And today I have awesome, awesome product to show you guys. First, let's uh, open this box, see what we have. Get your knife, be careful. All right, let's open this box, see what we have. Put the knife away. And then let's see what we got here. Oh. Hmm. So anyway, this is a stylus for your iPad. It will be compatible with uh, any iPads that you have after 2018 model. Uh, this includes your iPad Pro also. This is just a basic uh, Chinese knockoff version of uh, Apple Pencil. As you can see, it does kind of look like an Apple Pencil. So I did order my Apple Pencil, but it was the first generation. That was a long time ago. I use it on the older iPad. But since I have the newer iPad, it's not compatible anymore. So this Chinese knockoff Apple Pencil might be a solution. You never know. Let's, let's see what we got. Let's open the box and try it out and see what we got here. Oh, this is a little rough to get it out. There you go. Put that there. We have, I could not get this out. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take this out. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I can see that we have USB-C charging cable right here. It's about six inches long, so that's nice. Put that there. And they also include, uh, looks like a tip. No, it's actually a cap. They include a cap for your pen. Put that there. And this is the paperwork that comes with it. So you can kind of read it over and check it out what is going on here. And then let's see what we have here. So we have, looks like just three different tips that comes along with it. And then here is the actual pen. Let's take this out. Wow. I am actually impressed the, the quality, how you hold it in your hand. So it's got the little flat surface right here, little flat area here so that you can have a better grip by holding it. Or maybe when you place it down, it doesn't roll around. This is pretty cool. So it's already came with a tip and there's three more tips that come along with it. I think these are large, medium and small, depending on what you like. But this one that included was, it's actually a medium size. Um, I actually like the uh, fine uh, small tip, but let's try this out. Let's see what we have. So by looking at this pen is actually, yeah, this is uh, basically a Chinese knockoff version of Apple Pencil. And it's pretty similar to the Apple Pencil that I have. It's uh, very comfortable actually. I kind of like this. The feeling that you have in your hand is almost like the real pen in your hand. So pretty cool. Let's check this out. So let's see. There you go. So this is the cap that comes up with it. You can just put it like that. So that way you can store it away. Nice. It's protected the tip. See, if I tap on it, it's got a number on it. And it's got 91. I think that's 91% of battery inside this thing. So here's a little uh, tip right here that you take this little piece of rubber out. That's where you charge your pen. You take your USB-C cable, you plug it in that USB-C port and then just plug this end in into your brick. Takes an hour to charge it, so you're good to go. But at this point, it has 91% battery on it. We're gonna test it out and see how it goes. Now, these tiny little uh, white rubbers here that don't throw them away, because that's gonna go right into that uh, USB-C port right there. So that way it's nice and covered. So that way it doesn't just look too obvious with the hole right there on the pencil. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna grab my iPad Pro and then let's see what we got. Turn it on, take the cap out, and let's see what we have. Ooh. So let's see how this works. Just tap this. So let's, wow, works good. Um, let's check it out uh, Instagram. So it works. You scroll right through just fine like this. Hit home and then close it. Hmm. 
so I have to close it like that with my hand for some reason on that one. Except that when you want to hit a foam, it won't it won't go. You have to use your finger. That's kind of weird. But uh, here's Netflix. It works just fine. And then here's me logging in. And a lot of time I use iMovie to do you know, video editing, you know, just kind of like that. And then it's, it's moving pretty nice. So I can just, oh yeah, this is pretty good. Let's see if I want to just cut right there. This fake Chinese Apple Pencil is actually works really nice and it is helping me really, really well get me to a very fine point when I do editing. So, you know, just some of this icon is so small that you can't even uh, touch it with your finger, but at least you have to pen for it. This works pretty well. So all this little icon here, I can just use this Apple Pencil and just tap it and it works just very, very uh, accurate based on uh, the way I play with this thing, it's actually working pretty well. The only one thing that when you want to exit the app, you have to do with your finger. For some reason, this pen doesn't work well with that. Other than that, it's actually worked pretty well. I want to be able to uh, pull up uh, some kind of app so that way like, I can try to draw or something. So yeah, this Chinese knockoff uh, Apple Pencil, it actually works really well, especially if you want to do like uh, sketching, drawing, or anything like that. Now I'm just pulling up the workable notes and I'm trying to write my name on it. See that? So I'm gonna. See That's pretty cool right there. That's my signature right there. It works pretty well. Actually, I like this. Let's try back that out and then uh, let's try something else. See that? How smooth that is. Let's see if we do a text message and see if it works. It also worked on the text messages as well. Let's see if I want to type something. Tell me something. There you go. Pretty awesome. It came out just like the way you write. Let's try the Photoshop. So this is, well, there you go. So this is my wife, Amy, and I usually come in and do photo editing. So let's try this. Yeah. Works well. Smooth, smooth, smooth this out. See how I can color that in and kind of smooth out the background. And yeah, this is going pretty good. This is actually perfect for photo editing. Wow, this is pretty, pretty cool. You can get it pretty precise with this tip right here. See how I make the background blur with this pen right here? Works pretty well. And then if I want to do some uh, skin smooth I can just do this give a little color on the face there smooth out the skin it's a lot better using this than my finger I'm telling you my feet I had a fat finger that I can't really do it now with this I can get pretty precise with it exactly where I want to do a photo editing that works pretty well right there it looks pretty good I like it Wow now, the cool thing is that wherever you point it, it's going to highlight exactly this where it's at. So like how I point it right here, it highlight it red right there. Works well. And then we'll close this program. Wow. I was actually really, really impressed how well this uh, Chinese knockoff Apple Pencil is. Um, there are a lot of things that you can do with this. You can write, you can draw, you can do whatever you want to do. Works really, really well. But my main goal is using this uh, a stylus pencil here for photo editing and for video editing this will works just fine if you need to do like document sign you can use this all day to sign your documents it will work just perfectly just fine the cool thing that I really really like is that the feel in your hand is almost like a real pen and then when you write on the uh, iPad screen it's sort of like uh, writing on glass because I didn't have any other protection screen on it. At this point, it just feels like you're writing on glass. It's kind of like smooth. I might have to get some kind of uh, paper-like uh, screen on my iPad, then, um, then I can test this out. But at this point, basically just writing on top of glass. And that's the feeling. It's very nice and smooth and it's precise. It gets exactly where, how you want it. 
Uh, I like it because it's got the screen letting you know how much battery that you have. And the cool thing is that this is also can be charged with USB type C. Uh, it's just slightly a little bit longer than the regular pen. Um, which is okay, it's worked for someone who have, uh, you know, bigger hands that works perfect for them. And this flat surface here, it just helps you for putting on the table so that it doesn't roll around off the table. Now, I don't have um, one of those uh, keys, so I don't know if this... Oh, you know what? Check this out. Ha! <laughs> it's magnetic. You can stick right on to the side of the iPad. Look at this. Wow. Cool. It doesn't come off. Hey. Yeah. This is so cool. I didn't know that. Let's try that. Not this side, but this side, actually. There you go. It doesn't fall off. Yeah, it's magnetic. Stick right on the side of your iPad so that way you don't lose the pen. Ha, <laughs> this is pretty cool. So remember, this little uh, flat section here, it was designed to be on the side of the iPad. Cool. Wow, this is pretty cool. But anyway, this is only $30 that I got it from Amazon. And if you guys like to pick one of these up so that you can use it on your iPad, you can uh, check it out. I leave the link down below so that you guys can check it out. Again, this is just a stylus that will replace your Apple Pencil because I'm not gonna spend 150 bucks for a new Apple Pencil. It costs too much money. 30 bucks is a pretty good price, especially what you can do with this. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna continue using this to do video and photo editing, and I will come back in another couple weeks just to give you guys feedback, see how well that I like this stylus pencil so far. But anyway, you guys can check out the link down below and then let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for checking in. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye-bye.